Okay, here we go. Third attempt to talk about this. Uh, the first time this morning, I got distracted and went off on a tangent. Uh, I'm not even going to post because it wasn't. It, it's not really uh, relevant, and I don't think there was a whole lot to it. Uh, I said a lot, and I think I may. I was. Uh, uh, I, I don't know what you'd want to call it. I was, it wasn't really that bad, but I was kind of insulting toward uh, toward Trump and his supporters, and even for me. So you know, that's that's saying a bit. I don't know. Maybe at some point in the future, it wasn't that bad. But really, I just I don't like the possibility of upsetting anyone. I know some people who voted for Trump. You're nice people. I don't get what the fuck you were thinking, but you're nice people. Some of you. Uh, <laughs> some, I assume, are okay people. Uh, right. So, dating apps. I wanted to talk about dating apps. That was, that was funny. Uh, let me start from this point. My ex is an unbelievably shitty person. Uh, what she did, and I'll tell you, at some point, maybe I'll tell you the full story behind this, because it was so, there was so much more than just lying and cheating, and repeatedly, and I, I, uh, I feel and, and come off looking like an idiot because it was, all in all, it was an 11 year relationship. And there was, from day one, from like the first month, and I thought to myself, like this, this is not going to work out. Uh, she's a pretty bad person. Uh, but I kind of just, I denied it, and I grew complacent, and that just, I mean, there was, there were two years where some other shit happened that she did. She did some other shit. It was, it was a mess. Uh, like I said, I'll tell you the whole story if and when I have time. It was just absolute shittiness on a level that I couldn't have conceived of. Uh, it, it really, I didn't think any human being could be that shitty a person, but she was. And the, for a week after the breakup, I was in really bad shape. Uh, I think I hit it pretty well because I went, you know, I went to work and went about my business, but, uh, and, you know, Nobody would have guessed that I just basically died inside. I, and I, like, I don't want to worry anyone. I wasn't suicidal. But at the same time, for that week, I felt like I didn't want to live anymore. It was bad. Uh, and I could, I, I barely ate anything. I just, I got up, I went to work, I came home, I fucking laid in bed and just, felt like I died. And for a year after that, I couldn't even think about the possibility of being in a, in a relationship. Uh, and I didn't. I just didn't bother with the idea. Just I just, you know, kind of take time to heal. Did you see that shit that was floating around Facebook for, uh, uh, occasionally? Because that's all that Facebook is, really, at this point. It's, uh, people just seeing, like, memes, uh, and just going, ha ha ha, yeah, that, and reposting it. Uh, so, there was one that was floating around a while, and then, uh, it said something like, after a breakup, there's a person that's, uh, that was loyal, that takes time and lets the wound heal, and then there's, uh, the person who was a cheating asshole, 
and uh, they're already in another relationship and yeah like that I don't know how accurate that is in general but that was our situation to a T I can't believe like uh, just to give you an idea how shitty a person do you have to be how can you not after being in a relationship for 11 years how can you not need time whatever the circumstances wh whatever your excuse is Oh, and she didn't, uh, obviously, like, she didn't tell me she was cheating. I figured that out while she was making other excuses. Uh, yeah, like, really. Um, it's a pretty good indication that you're not a very good person, at least in my opinion. If you were in a relationship for 11 years and after it ends within, like, two weeks you're already involved again, but I mean, obviously she was, because she's a cheating whore. Uh, I'm coming off really bitter in this, aren't I? And I'm over it now, but like, I did, that, that feeling never goes away. Uh, she is a really, really shitty person. Uh, her name's Rebecca Hawes, by the way. If anybody out there sees this and knows her, she's an asshole. She's, like, the worst person on the planet. Feel free to go ahead and, like, spit on her. Or just kick her ass. I don't care. Horrible, horrible woman. Uh. Really. Worst, worst person I've ever known. Oh. So... Where was I going with this? Yeah, for like a year, I couldn't. I, I just couldn't conceive of being in a relationship. And even after that, I'm, I'm not one to go about something like that aggressively. I'm kind of, you know, I do my own thing. And if I meet the right girl and, you know, we hit it off, uh, fine. That's, that's awesome. Uh, but I've kind of felt like I'd maybe, uh, like I'd, I'd like to meet a girl. I'd like to get involved with someone or, or at least, you know, try. And for me, I want to do that, but I don't want to fucking socialize and deal with people. So you can understand my conundrum. So I kind of thought, you know, I'll give this a go. Uh, try one or more of these. Uh, it ended up being one, but and I'll explain that in a minute. But uh, I'm like, I'll, I'll you know try one of these, and again, I didn't really get very into it because I can't. This, these things are just they're so stupid. Uh. So, where was I? I, yeah, I, I kind of, you, you have to be okay with yourself first, in, in my opinion. It's kind of like my uh, philosophy, ideology, whatever you want to call it. Uh, a relationship is an enhancement to your life, not a solution to your problems. Uh, and that's it. It's an enhancement, not a solution. You need to... Uh, really get yourself to a position where you're all right and will be okay uh, by yourself and independently before you attempt to approach uh, the possibility of, of getting involved in a relationship. Uh, and that's another reason like, why I don't go about it very aggressively. I just kind of exist and go about my life. Uh, so I don't, I mean, uh, as I don't have much of a social life to speak of, I don't have much of a love life to speak of. Uh, that's just that my girlfriends, uh, even before that 11 year fiasco, uh, have been few and far between. Uh, but I, again, like I've been all right. So, um, I 
decided to try a couple of, of the dating apps. I wound up just trying one because uh, I it wound up I wound up uh, going with uh, or trying OkCupid for the sole reason that's the only one that allows you to really do anything and message other people without paying for it. Uh, like uh, all the other ones, They're free to sign up, <clears throat> and then they. Uh, they're like, hey, somebody liked you, pay us money and we'll tell you who it was. Or we'll, you know, sign up for this service and we'll tell you who... <clears throat> Excuse me, a little bit of sinus thing going on. Uh, you know, or, or uh, pay for our subscription service and we'll let you send messages to people. And I'm like, okay, no, this, this, look, this, this isn't... Uh, dating app. This is a fucking hostage uh, hostage situation. No. So I'm like, oh, okay, Cupid, and uh, spoiler alert, that was kind of a waste of time, too. Again, I didn't do much there, though. I made a profile, and I mean, I, I did a decent, you know, I think it was a fair representation of my personality. Uh, maybe that was a problem. <laughs> I don't know, but I, I, I avoid people to begin with, but I don't think people think uh, much of me. I, I don't think people are drawn to me, and that goes for women too, uh, in that context. So, uh, but whatever. Uh, so I made a profile, and basically... Uh, I did make a profile and had like a, a detailed, you know, this is who I am, this is what I'm looking for. Uh, but right at the beginning of it, I put a link to my Facebook and I said, like, don't, don't like me on here because I'm not paying for the subscription service, so I can't specifically see who's liking me. It's only, it pops off at, if it's like mutual. Uh, and surprisingly, I had a couple of those, but I mean, they didn't work out very well. But anyway, uh, yeah, that went like fucking nowhere. Um, you know, go to my Facebook. That's a much better fucking battery notification came up. I'm down to 20%. If this uh, cuts off, that's why. Um, I put a link to my Facebook. I'm like, that's a much better place to get to know each other. We're here, we're on a dating site. This is just like stupid bullshit, generic profile stuff uh, on both ends. Um, you know, we're, if we're messaging each other, we're fucking, like, it's on a phone. It's, on, it's, a, it's an iPhone app. I'm sitting here on a phone. I don't text. Fucking keyboard on the screen. It's fucking annoying. Um... It's, I, I don't, I, I would much rather on a computer with a keyboard in front of me, the da, 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 and uh, rather than the tiny little thing in my hand that I'm trying to, that sounded bad, didn't it? That I'm trying to fucking type on. Uh, yeah, nobody actually did that. No one. I got likes. I got, and I said, don't like me on here. I can't fucking see it. Can you people not read? They don't like me on here. Go to my Facebook. I didn't, nobody went there. And I don't, I mean, you can send me a friend request. All my posts are public. I, I, I'm, for how little I talk in public, people, I'm an open book. I really don't care. Uh, anything you want to know. People say I don't talk much. I'm like, nobody takes an interest. Ask me anything you want to know, and I know a lot of shit. Anything you want to know, ask. I'll tell you. Uh, so, you know, I'm like, go to my Facebook, send me a friend request, pop in and say hi, comment on something. I don't care. That's a much better... We're, we're, you're on Facebook. You're posting about your actual interests. You've got... Um, material to start a conversation with much better than trying to, to talk on one of these stupid fucking dating apps and you get a I, I get messages from people and this by the way is something else 
like I would respond to any message I got no matter how and they were all just uh, like really hi uh, um hi how's your day what fine it's fine I have a we, we have profiles there's like material there start a conversation and that's what I tried to do when I would message uh, women on there, but I messaged like, I, I think I messaged a total of 10 in the time I was there, and I realized like women get a lot more messages on dating it, but still, like I put effort into it. Uh, I would sh like uh, make the effort, show that I read your profile, uh, and think we're compatible, and uh, and try to strike up a relevant conversation. And you know what? I got ignored. So, all ten. I was like, yeah, fuck that, I'm done. I've, I have too much dignity for this. I can't imagine. I can't conceive of being on a site like that, getting a message from someone who seems, who, who clearly took a genuine interest and thought we were compatible and took the time to send me a message and, and strike up a again a relevant conversation and just ignore it I can't conceive of that but whatever I mean save me the trouble fine that to me shows poor judgment and uh, when you're on here inevitably complaining that you can't fucking that you know there's no decent people out there uh, just remember you ignored one um, so I was like, this, this is just retarded. And that app, um, fuck's sake, you, 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 in your profile, like, you can answer these questions that they've got, okay? And there's hundreds of them. And you can just answer them at your leisure. You can do like one at a time and come back for the next one later. Whenever you feel like it. It's not like a thing you have to finish when you're signing up or either doing your profile. <clears throat> but they've got questions and there's like hundreds of them. And you can uh, you can select your answer. And then you can select like a, what, are, what you consider appropriate answers from potential matches. And that's supposed to like help determine your compatibility with other users. And then you can... Uh, you can set like how important that is uh and some of the questions make sense or questions like you know what are what are your uh political beliefs your religious beliefs stuff that you know i could see okay maybe you're looking for someone who you share uh ideologies and interests with and you know good and well but some of these questions are what the fuck uh some of these questions are ridiculous. There's like the throwing in uh, like math questions, which I mean, obviously I'm nailing, but um, and I can understand that to an extent. Maybe you want someone who's you know like mathematically oriented or uh, or good with. I mean, there's like literature, trivia, all kinds of shit. That okay, even on that, maybe I can kind of understand. I don't necessarily need someone who is uh, as smart as I consider myself or or as good at math or any I don't care uh, not really a big thing with me uh, I you know just looking for someone I, I get along well with and uh, am compatible with in that way uh, but still, I can at least kind of see the logic in that. There's like one where like, what's the next number in this sequence, which I find, but I can't really understand. But why? Uh, how are you gonna? What's gonna? No, it didn't work out. She didn't know the next number. Um, <laughs> stupid. Not not a person who doesn't know the number. I mean, stupid for that to be a question on on compatibility. And they get worse. They get worse. One question that really stood out, and I shit you not, this was a question, uh, in order to determine your compatibility with someone, was, 
Uh, if you're eating a bagel, what toppings are you likely to, to, to enjoy on it? Like, what, what, which one of these toppings are you most uh, inclined toward? I, I can't see. Why? Are there couples out there? Is this like an issue I'm not aware of? Are there couples out there in a therapist's office? I can't take this shit anymore. She's eating bagels with fucking cream cheese. Psycho bitch. You, you shut your butter-loving ass up. I, uh, no, our marriage didn't work out. Irreconcilable bagel topping differences. And it wasn't like butter and cream cheese. It was weird shit. Like uh, the, the, the one that I picked, because I, I may as well pick one. I put that that uh, question didn't matter worth, well, worth a damn. Like, what do I give a shit? Um, the... Uh, the one I picked was like bacon and jalapenos, which I mean that sounds delicious, but still, what? Uh, then there's shit like honey and granola, uh, arugula. Maybe that had something to do with it. Like you know, arugula, fuck you, you pretentious fuck. Um, <laughs> seriously though, I don't get that being a question. Or, uh, what was the other one? There were like four choices, and none of them have I ever... None of them were things that I've ever actually eaten on a bagel. Cream cheese was not an option, and butter was not an option. I think they take questions, like, from users. Uh, that one should have gotten rejected, though. Or some other weird ones. Oh my god, there was one question. Would you sleep with a serial killer? Uh, you know, I, no, first off, I can't for the life of me imagine any situation where, where it's acceptable for a potential match to ask me that question. <laughs> that should set off, like, warning signs. That, that's, that's a red flag right there. Uh, if you're on a date with someone, they said, uh, so... Would you sleep with a serial killer? Just asking. Um, one, I couldn't fucking, I, like, where, where are these questions coming from? What the fuck does this even? They, they ask, which is closer to perfection? The male body or the female body? I don't, I, see, but, I give up on that. What are you asking? I'm attracted to females. So I guess uh, for in my, to my preference, uh, the female body would be closer to perfection. It's certainly the one that I, uh, that I would enjoy. Um, not, well, that sounds wrong, doesn't it? Not enjoy being, enjoy, you know, uh, having intercourse with I don't I which is closer to perfection what the fuck are you on shit oh, something else about that those dating profiles that I have always been horrible at always all of them ask the question uh, like do you drink and how so and I never know how to answer that because technically the answer for me is no, never, or almost never. I don't drink. And it's not that I have some opposition to it, but that's the thing. When you hear I don't drink, uh, the assumption, at least is, if I'm correct, the assumption is that you have, you're like somehow opposed to it. You have some like moral obligation to it. Or you're like a recovering alcoholic or something where like, no, I don't drink anymore uh, because I can't handle myself and I uh, turn into a raging lunatic. Uh, but no, I don't know how to answer that question because there are options like I drink socially and for me, like that's not really, uh, those are like your three options. I don't drink. 
I drink socially, which I fucking don't. I don't see a point in that. I never got that. I don't think that drinking to me is not an activity. But if I'm somewhere and there's like alcoholic drinks, yeah, fuck, I'll have one. I don't care. I don't drink for the sake of drinking. And then there's like the third option, which is like frequently, which I think is code for alcoholic. Um, oh, I don't know. I don't really drink. I've never been drunk in my life. I was excited to turn 21 because, well, who the fuck isn't? But even then, I didn't, like, I don't think I even drank on my 21st birthday because I didn't care. I don't care. It, it's not like an activity to me. The excitement for me was just the fact that I, if I want to, I can. Because for three years, I thought it was bullshit that I was an adult. Another battery notification. We're down to 10%, so... Did it even keep recording while I was doing that? I got a battery notification. We're down to 10% now, uh, which is fine because I should get home before it zeroes out. Uh, yeah, even like when I turned 21, the only thing that I was, you know, I, I was more excited in theory. I was excited for the fact that if I wanted to, I could because for three years I thought it was bullshit that I was an adult and I couldn't fucking have a drink if I won. Uh, you know, so whatever, uh, I've tried beer. I don't fucking like beer. I can't, I, I don't understand how so many of you drink that shit on purpose. I was like, okay, you know, uh, and I, I tried what, uh, like before I was 21 because like who waits until they're 20, 21 to ever drink, uh, to drink at all. No, but I tried one. And I... <laughs> the fuck is that? What is that, liquid gym sock flavoring? I don't... Did you carbonate dishwater? What is that? That tastes fucking horrible. How do you people like that? Someone answer this for me. What do you like about beer? Do you seriously think it tastes good? There's something wrong with all of you. This is why I can't relate to people. You, there is something wrong with your mouth if you don't immediately spit that shit out. Do you have like a homeless person on a treadmill and you're harvesting their sweat? Is that what that's made out of? It fucking, it's, it's terrible. Ugh. People, I've, t I've said to people, you know, like, I don't, I think beer tastes awful. They're like, oh, maybe you drank the wrong kind. No, I've tried different kinds. It all tastes like shit. I don't know what the fuck that is. Well, I, I do know what it is. It's like, you know, like yeast and shit, but... Son of a bitch. What is that? Why do you drink that? Why do you put that shit in your mouth? Fuck. Oh, my God. Uh, yeah, so I don't drink. <laughs> I don't do shots. I've never done a shot of anything. Because how, cause how do you drink a shot? You do that with fucking cough syrup, and you do it because it tastes horrible. Why would I? A shot? No. Same thing. You, you do that because it fucking tastes horrible. I don't understand drinking for the purpose of getting drunk. Why is it... We all like to escape from reality. I don't... I'm not that desperate to get away from it, though. Like, I'll write. I'll, I'll write works of fiction and shit, and I'll play video games or something like that. That's a legitimate escape from reality, and the next morning, I'm not fucking... I don't have a headache, and it doesn't make me vomit up everything I've eaten for the last week. Uh, I don't understand the point of drinking to get drunk. It's fun. Is it? <coughs> <coughs> oh, sorry. Sinuses again. Is it, is it like it's fun to uh, 
to get drunk and just act stupid because I mean everyone who I've ever seen who who drinks for the purpose of getting drunk look, I've got news for you you don't need the alcohol to act stupid <laughs> um, that that's your life <laughs> uh, stupider does that uh, I don't know, some some people I've known, there's barely a distinction. So I don't really drink. <laughs> uh, I just answer as close as I can to the correct, which is just, no, I don't. Like, if you're looking for someone to go out drinking with, you got the wrong guy. <sighs> Just about home now. This uh, this worked out pretty well. I managed to uh, cover about the... Uh, I've, I've been talking pretty much the entire trip. I think I've covered everything I wanted to. Dating apps. Oh, that was a waste of my time. I don't know. Like I said, I'm okay by myself, though. Uh, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm available, ladies, but not desperate. I don't know. Ugh. Just about home now. I don't know. I, I'm, uh, I'm pretty well done with this. Uh, bye for now. <laughs>